Hello and welcome. I am JV with the Cyber and U team, and today we're going to go over how to add the DFS or Distributed File System server role to our Windows Server 2016 machine. And a quick explanation as to what DFS is it allows you to set up shared folders hosted on different servers into one or more logically structured namespaces. Each namespace appears to users as a single shared folder with a series of subfolders. By having this setup, you're going to increase your availability simply because you can add replication into the piece and this will keep everything under one umbrella. So for instance, instead of having DC1, DC2, DC3 file shares, you can put it all under one name and then you can access it from that one name rather than having to access them singularly. So let's go ahead and get into adding the role to our server. So we're going to go to the bottom left here to our little Windows icon. Click on Server Manager. And then you're going to go to Manage at the top right here. And then click on Add Roles and Features. Then you're going to be met with the little Add Roles and Features wizard. You're going to click Next. And then you keep role-based or feature-based installation. Click Next. Select the server on which you would like to add this role to. And for this instance, we only have one server, so we're just going to keep it at the default and click Next. And then you see File and Storage Services. So you're going to want to expand that, and then you're going to expand File and iSCSI Services as well. And then as you can see, you have two different options. So DFS namespaces just brings everything under the same umbrella, while DFS replication is the actual piece to combine all of your servers together to replicate them um, to one another. The information stored within the folders. And then you click Next, and then click Next at this one as well. And then you're going to click Install down here. And that's going to go through the installation process itself, which shouldn't take too long. Uh, generally, I'd say probably two to ten minutes. Just depends on how quickly of a server you have. Once it finishes installing, you're just going to go ahead and click Close. And then if you want to actually look at it, you can go to Tools at the top right here and then click on DFS Management. This will open up the DFS Management Console. And with that, you have successfully installed the DFS server role to your Server 2016 machine. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you again.